Hi, it's Bimmerzen with another short video. This time I will be fixing the tamper dot on my odometer on my E46 BMW. This is my new daily driver and when I bought the car I did notice this dot. That means that one of the modules was replaced and never recoded properly. So the mileage is stored in the instrument cluster, in the light control module and in the EWS uh, immobilization system for the keys and when I investigated further I realized that the light control switch was replaced and never recoded properly so it still has the old uh, VIN number stored and of course wrong mileage so if the system detects that the mileage differs for more than 100 kilometers it will light up the dot so you have to be careful when buying cars with this dot it could mean that the mileage is actually higher than it is displayed. But anyway, to fix this issue, we have to reprogram the LCM module. And to do that, we will be using the BMW scanner cable. This is the BMW scanner 1.4 and this is probably the easiest way to do this job. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna put the link down in the description where you can get the cable. And uh, this cable also comes with a CD that has the software installed. I uh, have to warn you that maybe the software won't work on all versions of the Windows system. So in my case, I was unable to install it on my primary Windows 11 machine. So I am using this uh, antique laptop with Windows XP on. And this is the only way I got the software to run. But anyway, so let's first just uh, plug in the cable and start the software. Okay, let's run the software. Okay, let's press continue. And first we are just gonna let it scan the car or the modules. And already it detects an LCM FA reading error. So that means that the VIN number is wrong on the LCM. And it also displays the data for this module. And here you can see this is the IKA, this is the instrument cluster. It has uh, this VIN number and the LCM module has a different VIN number. So I've uh, searched for the VIN number and I realized that this module is from an earlier car, from a coupe. And here you can see that the odometer of the car on the instrument cluster is 269,000 kilometers actually and on the LCM it has 267 so this is why the tamper dot is on so this is what we will have to fix next okay let's close this and now we can scan the whole car the modules are gonna get scanned and it's gonna report errors or no errors so let's wait for that Okay, so the scanning is completed and here we can see modules and errors. And uh, let's open the LCM module. You just double click it. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna fix the mileage or the kilometer reading. And to do that, we have to first select the correct algorithm for the software version of this uh, LCM module and so we click view support list and it should be listed already and if all is uh, okay the correct algorithm should already be suggested here it is marked in blue so let's go ahead and select this let's make sure yeah this is the correct algorithm so let's close this now we can go to reprogramming and we go to write odometer and we're gonna enter the new odometer and this is where we have to put in the correct number 296945 this is the same as in the instrument cluster 
and then we go OK. It is writing new data in. OK, and we can see we have the new kilometers. Now we also have to change the VIN number that is coded to the module. So uh, let's go again, reprogramming. And this time we are going to choose write FGSTNR. And this is where we have to put in the last seven symbols of the VIN number. I copied the correct VIN number from another module. You can find this in your car's data anyway. You should know your VIN number, right? Okay, let's write. Okay, and we no longer have an error here. So this is basically it. Now let's see if this works. We have to exit the software and then let's see what happens if we restart the car. So key out, wait for a couple of seconds, try again. Let's see and it's gone. No more temper dot. Yay, we fixed something. Okay, so uh, this was a very quick video on uh, how to fix the temper dot. Thanks for watching. If you have questions, put them down below. And uh, keep zen and continue the art of BMW maintenance.